Uh, today we're going to talk about how to set up your drafting table um, for a brand new session. So we're going to cover four things. Uh, cleaning the table, calibrating the parallel, laying out the vellum, and then setting up the angle of your drafting tabletop. Okay, well the first thing we want to do is make sure that we clean the drafting table thoroughly. And the product we're going to use is Fantastic. Um, it's in the white bottle, you can't miss it. It's labeled Fantastic. Uh, you'll also notice it's labeled for the design room. So this should be always available by the sink in the corner. Um, and if you find that it's, it's running low or you run out of it, just let me know and I can restock it. Um, you're going to want to spray the drafting surface, which is called Borco. So it's a self-healing drawing surface. It's not a cutting mat. It's only for drawing on it. So I'm going to spray it fairly liberally. And the key thing here is I'm going to spray this every time I start a new session of drafting. Every single time, you can't assume that this is going to stay clean. Uh, I'm using a regular paper towel. Uh, you know, you don't need to use a special cloth or anything. Uh, you don't need to press too hard. And you'll see that as I'm working here, you'll start to see some of the dirt coming right up here. So you're just cleaning it. You're not trying to get every mark off it. You're just getting the big junk off it. So your pencil point doesn't really catch on anything when you're moving across. You'll see that I'm also cleaning this black bar. It's called the parallel. Both the top side and, this is important, the underside, so we don't track graphite from the pencil or eraser shavings um, on our piece of vellum when we draft. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, and then you'll see this burns off pretty quickly in terms of the residue, so there's no need to wipe it down a second time. It should be ready to go. Uh, once you're done with that, you can throw the piece of paper towel away. The next important thing is to learn how to square the parallel, which again is this traveling black bar, relative to the drawing surface, because you want your parallel to be square at all times. That will ensure that you have right angles when you draft. Um, this travels on two sets of wires, or uh, a set of two wires, rather, that travels up and down. Now, what you probably don't necessarily pick up on is that this wire travels through and then all the way through and back down this side. So every time you slide this back and forth, it's traveling through a series of little gears all the way through this piece of machinery, which helps maintain its calibration. But you need to set that calibration first. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen both of these knobs. We do not want to unscrew them all the way. If they unscrew all the way, we run the risk of losing them. That's a big problem. Only unscrew them a little bit so they travel, so this travels freely. We also want to loosen, don't take it off, just loosen this little knob at the top left corner, which releases this part of the cable. Once this is freely moving, you can see that I can kind of wrap this back and forth. Um, that's going to help me uh, calibrate it at the start of my drafting session. I'm going to bring it all the way down to the bottom of the table and make sure that the leading acrylic edge, so the clear edge, makes firm contact with either of the two black keepers of the wire. And I do that by just putting a little bit of pressure on either side so it's nice and snug. Once I've done that, I need to go back up to the top and use this little piece of steel, this little foot, to capture the top part of the wire. By capturing it and screwing this knob down, That puts a little bit of tension on the wire relative to this spring, which should hold the overall calibration for your drafting session. You need to do this every time you start a new drafting session. So there's two major rules here that we've covered. The first one is to always clean your drafting surface. The second one is to always maintain or to maintain a, a calibration of your parallel following these steps. So once I've done this, this should be good to go. I'm now ready for my vellum. So vellum that we're going to use doesn't have a particular side. Either one is good. Um, if your vellum came in a roll, um, this one came in a sheet. But if, if your vellum came in a roll and it wants to curl back one way or the other, I recommend taking the curl and laying it so the curl sits flat as possible on the table. So that way it prevents it from rolling back up that way. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay it down on the drafting board. You're going to lift this slightly and bring it to the top portion, not the top edge, but the top portion. Now, 
there is a misconception that the vellum needs to be completely in line with the parallel. In fact, it doesn't. Uh, it's not a bad idea if it is, but you don't need to worry about it so much because your piece of drafting will be square to the parallel irregardless of the actual page space. So you can just eyeball this part. Uh, to get started, you need some drafting dots, and we'll have talked about this in class. Um, this box needs to be put back together, so I'm going to take it, I'm going to fold it back underneath there, and set it back up so the drafting dots will pop right up. Finger on the thumb, pops right up, there's one. Finger on the thumb, pops right up, there's two. I put one in either corner, only at the top. I do not need one in the middle, so only one, two drafting dots. I then use the parallel rule to slide this down to smooth out the vellum. Again, finger on the finger, pops right up, and another one, pops right up. I can put one at the bottom edge of either side, and you're all set. Now, You'll notice I did not put a drafting dot on the bottom or the sides, and again, not at the top. The least amount of drafting dots is where we want to be, otherwise they get picked up and kind of get caught up underneath the parallel, which we want to try to avoid. So now I'm essentially almost ready to draft, but I want to review, now we've had three important steps. Step number one is to clean the drafting surface. Step number two is to square and calibrate the parallel. And step number three is to orient the vellum taped down with drafting dots on the drafting surface. The final step, number four, is to tip the drafting table uh, to the angle you want. And again, this is by lifting this up. You'll hear that little ratchet sound. Uh, and you can set this however you want it to go. If you want it to lower, you need to lift it up to its top edge and then it will lower back down. Being careful not to let it slam down, either just banging down or catching your fingers in there. So I'm gonna lift it a little bit. Feels like a good angle. Everything seems set, so I'm ready to draft.